So for our ingredients today, I have about 300 grams of lamp meat, amanya mayambuzi, three medium small potatoes, easy ni two large onions, very large onions, hapa kuna mafuta, here I have mala. Okay, for our spices I have about an and a half tablespoons of tomato paste, a yellow food color, here I have vinegar, one tablespoon, or you can substitute vinegar with lemon juice, if at all you have the lemons. Uh, for this other bunch of spices, I have one teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste, black pepper, a pinch of black pepper, turmeric, garam masala, paprika, and some salt to taste. And on this other side, of course, I have my rice, because I'm showing you how to prepare a full meal. So, for the first process, I'll start by marinating my meat and tamaga up and down even. I had already pre-washed my meat. Then I'll go in with my spices and I'll start with these spices. So my ginger, my salt, paprika, garam and black pepper. Then I'll give this a quick stir. Nizichanganya vizuri. And then I'll go in with my tomato paste. So this is the easiest method of cooking tasty and delicious biryani. So tunachanganya all the spices in here. And then I'll add my vinegar, but you can substitute this with lemon juice. Just squeeze your lemon juice up on dani. Koroga pia. And then I'll go in with my mala. This is actually not mala, it's plain yogurt, natural yogurt. Then to take a kidogo. And then hmm. and from the aroma you can already tell that it's going to be a very delicious meal. Oh, so I almost forgot to make a mafuta kiasi because we are going to add some more oil when we start cooking. So, to make a two kiasi, then to make a pia. Then now, I'll marinate mine for about 20 minutes, but you can go ahead and marinate yours for about 6 hours to 24 hours, depending on the time you have. As for me, Mimi ni kona haraka because I am having this for supper and so I'll just marinate it for about 20 minutes. So this is my lamb meat, ama nyama ya mbuzi. Na it has been marinating for about 20 minutes now. So I'll switch on the heat and cook it on medium heat. Also, at this point, I'll go in with my remaining plain yogurt. You can also use maziwa mala for this recipe. I'll rinse off this with a little bit of water. So, this recipe is quite simple because it's the Swahili way. Uh, I'm not saying that they are always on energy saving mode, but it doesn't require a lot of energy. So, even if we eco and we let this simmer on low heat. So, and we'll start working on our other ingredients. So, I'll take a small sufuria and then I'll add a generous amount of cooking oil ndo tutatumia ku fry hizi vitungu zetu and you might be thinking that hizi vitungu ni mingi i used two large onions this is what i refer to as a large onion i used two of these and you might be thinking that they are quite many and you are right so i'll tell you a hack that i use in my kitchen so i'll deep fry this and i'll use half of this in today's recipe the other half i'll store it for some time in my other next recipe so i'm pretty sure our oil is hot 
and uh, yeah you can see the bubbles forming hapo kwa skewer and i'll go in with my onions you have to be careful at this point because the oil is very hot uh mafuta inezaruka ni kuchome so i'll just be careful kidogo kidogo and as you can notice i'm using onion rings so you need the big onions ndivyo uzi tuanishe hivi zikwe to rings to pour also now let me check on this other side and as you can see it's doing quite okay inaendelea vizuri na chemka tu vizuri so this deep frying of the onions will take about 8 to 15 minutes depending on the quantity of the onions so usiziharakishe so i'll be stirring this in intervals uh, making sure that they do not burn because zikiungua uh, our stew will be very bitter so in the meantime also let's be working on our potatoes and for our potatoes i'll be using the a yellow food color space to be is very limited and so i'll chop them into halves this one is quite big so i'll chop it hivo and then like that then this other one i'll chop it hivo then i'll take my food color and then i'll add in kiasi tu then i'll give this a toast you do not have to add water unazitingiza hivi hadi rangi kwe distributed kila mahali but so as you can see finally our potatoes are all colored and the color is evenly distributed so and let me check on this Oops. so they are just doing fine you have to be patient with this onions to achieve the best results so as you can see they've started becoming brown in color kidogo kidogo so we'll keep stirring them because at this point it it takes a second to turn from brown to black and that's not what we want so it's at this point tutazitoa they are quite wet but tukizitoa zitakauka and they'll become crispy i'll kind of switch off my heat and then this is the color that you want so remember uh, everything you deep fry ukitoa kwa mafuta it turns a shade darker so easy with, with time by them zinamaliza kupoa they'll be a bit darker than they are right now nitawasha jiko yangu tena then i come in with my potatoes So easy our potatoes we are just deep frying them so that we can have a crust uh sio kuzipika si chips tunapika i'm just deep frying them so that they can just have that yellow beautiful crust so they'll just take about 3 to 5 minutes alafu tunazitoa so kidogo kidogo tunaanza kuzitan hivi because they'll continue cooking in our biryani rojo as you can notice Easy, they are becoming crispier and a bit darker. Yeah, you can have this as a snack. They are very tasty. So as you can see, zimeanza kwa crusty huko mwisho in the edges. So I'll continue for about one and a half more minutes, then nitazitoa kwa jiko. Meanwhile, let me check on my rojo how it's doing. And as you can see it's doing quite okay here. Yeah. So I'll reduce the heat. Look. As 
So our potatoes are ready na nitazitoa pia kwa moto. And then I'll switch off. As you can see this is what we are going for from our potatoes the crusty edges. And so now it's time to add our potatoes here. So I'll add them here. Then I'll go in with my as you can feel as you can hear ziko crusty. So I'll go and then you remember that I told you to turn the amaputa. So so I'll go in with this oil. This oil is very flavorful. So I'll add in about a tablespoon. And then koroge then we let it continue cooking. So hivi venye hizi onions zishakuwa ngumu, uh, when they cook they will soften. Also nitaongeza sasa to maji kidogo so that the potatoes can cook and uh, our meat can fully cook. So I'll go in with my rice on this other side. If you have your whole spices you can add in your cardamom and your cloves. Lakini hizi zangu zishaisha. So I'll just work with whatever I have and and I'll not work with what I do not have. So I cook my rice in the ratio of 1 cup of rice, 2 cups of water. So I'll add in salt to taste and then I'll add in my water. Also I'll change I'll switch the flames because hii kona moto mingi na hii kona moto kidogo and these are almost getting ready as you can see our roji is doing fine iko karibu ku eva So another kitchen hack that I mentioned in my other previous video is when I use a lot of tomato paste or a lot of tomatoes uh, because you hear uchachu uh, the tartness that it comes along with the tomato paste I like adding a pinch of sugar now when I add sugar let me repeat this nikiongeza sukari chakula yangu haitaonja uji haitaonja chai because I'm just adding one pinch of sugar hivi also, you can remember we've used uh, about a tablespoon of vinegar. Pia hiyo inaleta uchachu. Uh, and also, if you are going to use lemon, pia hiyo italeta uchachu. And so, to neutralize it kiasi tu, I'll just, in, I'll just go in with about a pinch of sugar and you're good to go. So, you should also try that. And uh, you'll notice the difference. Haita kuwa kali sana because pia tumetumia mala na mala inakuanga na mala or plain yogurt inakuanga kali so i'll just let this continue cooking on very low heat hadi hivi so as my rice continue to cook let me check on my rojo i'm sure it's ready and look at this uh, our rojo is very well done so how you know it's done is mafuta ikikuja huku juu ya chakula. And as you can see, let me give you a close up look. As you can see, the oil has come above and uh, and yeah, it's ready. So I'll switch off the heat alafu ningoje mchele wetu hivi. Remember this is the food color that I'm using that is a yellow. Alafu tutaeka food color yetu hapa. Kiasi hivyo. And then we'll add in our water. So let me tell you how I like my rice when I'm cooking biryani. Uh, most people wanna tumia two types of food colors. Uh, two colors of food color. 
that is the yellow and the red but for me i like doing one color which is a yellow but i do it in two different shades one which is kama hii enye nimeka tu magic kiasi sana so this will give a deeper yellow i'll check my rice my rice is ready kabisa hakuna maji imebakia so i'll in with this dark orange and then hii enye inabakia i won't add more food color nitaongeza to maji hivo ikuwe lighter a lighter yellow then i'll go in so as you can also notice from the video hizi mbili ni darker kuliko hizi mbili so i'll let this cook with steam for about a minute i'll switch off the heat yeah i'll let this sit for about two minutes as i prepare for the taste test So people, we've come to the end of today's episode and now it's time to give this delicious food a taste test. As you can see, it was that easy preparing this meal and let's dig in. So, biryani ukuliwa na mikono, ukuliwa kwa mikono or whatever, yeah. So, I'll start in. So, I can, oh, oh, it came more than. I hope I'm in focus. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. Jehovah. Hmm. 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 I mean, who made this? Huh? Hmm. 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 So a quick disclaimer. Leo ni mekwa na camera feels ngi ne kali sana. But the food is very delicious, very tasty. Ah, uh, we've cracked it. Ata kama camera ilaito juachi. So, the meat is so tender. The spices, the everything, zime kujatu izuri. Oh, Well, this cannot be that other gender, it has to be handsome. This handsome meal of ours is well done. Uh, it's also very delicious. So, let's try out this recipe and let me know how it goes for you. As for me, it's a very from my side. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you haven't. Also, share with your friends, share your thoughts, share your suggestions down in the comment section below. Also, tell me what, I... also, tell me what recipe you want to see next and be sure that you're willing to show you how i reach my way so it's a bye bye from my side and see you in my next one bye hey 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 kai na kwa mbia kutamu kwa hapa